Good evening, Southeast Texas. We have not one, not two, but three tropical cyclones in the Atlantic Basin. And you know what? None of them are going to affect Southeast Texas. So some great news as high pressure builds over our area. This is Henri, and it has just become a tropical storm with winds of 40 miles an hour. And it's going to basically loop around Bermuda before ejecting back to the north and east. So some good news for Bermuda and also for the east coast. Fred made landfall earlier this afternoon, producing flooding rains in through the Florida panhandle. Winds are at 60 miles an hour and it's moving generally north. The issue now is as the storm moves through the Appalachians, could produce flooding rainfall as we head through Wednesday up through uh, the Virginias. Otherwise, we have Grace. Grace is holding steady uh, as a tropical depression with winds of 35 miles an hour moving west-northwest along Hades coast. This is the upper level pattern. There is the uh, spin. It's called vorticity. This is grace. This is the high. The pink area is high pressure. Okay, so the high is now forecast to strengthen across the southeastern and Gulf of Mexico coast blocking grace so the only way it, anywhere only place it can go is generally off towards the west earlier this weekend that was not as clear but look how the blocking high develops over our area southeast texas and over towards louisiana friday and that's when grace should head on off towards the west so some much better news for us as you can see the hurricane center taking this over towards cozumel as we head towards uh, thursday afternoon pretty close to hurricane force it regains hurricane or becomes a hurricane in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche, as it heads towards uh, the Mexican Gulf of Mexico coast. So good news on all three fronts. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And always, there's more weather, hurricane coverage, and tropics updates at 12newsnow.com.